Howdy. So we're out here at our shack. We're grooming ski trails. We've got about five miles total of interconnected trails that we're, we're grooming anywhere from narrow on top of ridges to kind of out in the open. Uh, we're doing it with our snow dogs. So we got a couple of different groomers options that we, that we take out here. But essentially, uh, in another video, we kind of recapped on, on what it entails. But in short, uh, it's uh, like a 13 horsepower or so engine that is on just a standard snowmobile track. It's uh, light at like 300 pounds, uh, very maneuverable. So it really is an adequate tool for uh, getting in the narrow, uh, difficult to access trails that snowmobiles have a hard time getting to and navigating. So I've been grooming, uh, this is the second winter now, I've groomed out here uh, for people out on their lakes. And then for the city of Duluth or uh, COGS, it's a nonprofit cycling community group in uh, Duluth, Minnesota uh, for fat biking. And so over the course of the two years, I've gotten to know this machine pretty well and, and how it manages when grooming. So this is the Snow Dogs standard uh, fat bike grooming uh, tool that you can buy from them. It's pretty covered in snow, but you can see where your feet stand. You've got great treads. Uh, you don't slip at all, uh, regardless of the conditions. I've been out on a lake, slush has come over, and the machine had been iced up and my feet are fine. So if, standing on it, it's, it's a heavy, heavy gauge steel. <laughs> can hit trees and rocks and you can see some of the nicks and everything in it handles it just fine what's great about this is not only it's a heavy duty steel so you don't have to worry about it breaking right hitting a rock and it's nice to be able to go at, you know, at a good clip 10 miles an hour or so on trails that are already packed if you hit a rock or a log you don't flinch like you don't have to worry about breaking breaking your tool I spent I think it's about $300 uh, you know, we can leave a link in the description and you can see where we can get it from the website. But uh, it's it's got these teeth at the end of it, which leaves a nice corduroy behind. Uh, and, you know, right now the snow conditions aren't prime. Uh, we've got, it's pretty sugary, dry snow, so it's, it's not packing the best. But still, with the corduroy, what it does is it really lets the snow breathe. And so you can get, you can get a nice pack and in an hour two hours after if you wanted to ride your bike on it maybe a little bit longer depending on the conditions but uh, it really is a functional uh, tool and what's nice if you look up close is you can adjust the width of this tool uh, by taking these plates off so if you're going to be going down trails that were only as wide as your machine the snow dog you can just take off one or two and you can get it slightly narrower than the machine, which is fantastic for like um, mountain biking specific trails, right? Like we've got snowmobiles that are very small and it's, it's very difficult for them to groom those trails just because they're twisting, they're turning, and you only want to accommodate the size that a bike can accommodate to give you that kind of feel through the woods. So what's fun about this is that you can be going through all those trails, uh, taking all the turns and, and humps and everything. And it really does feel like you are riding a bike, but just behind it, then you're grooming. So it, it's kind of a cheating uh, kind of fun. It, it's an absolute blast to, to groom on this machine. It's, hasn't thrown any troubles at me. And actually what you can do is if you wanted to set up a skate deck for skate skiing, let's say, you know, classic skiing, they've got a groomer specific for that. If you take the fat bike groomer, go out in the open and you do a pass, you do another pass uh, just to the left and then just to the right wait a day, go out, and then you clean that up, you've got a fantastic skate deck that you can, especially easy on lakes, open areas like this, broad trails, you, it's not the ideal tool, but if you don't wanna be spending thousands of dollars on a snowmobile that can handle the kind of torque, 
uh, staying cool in those low speed kind of situations and you don't have a lot of trails or uh, you know you just want kind of this one tool it might not be the best but I can tell you that I've skied I skied miles uh, of, of great skiing on snow trails that were groomed solely just on this so I mean the sky's the limit with your imagination and what you want to do it really is a a great tool if you are interested in you know grooming some of your private lands maybe you've got an organization that skis or that uh, grooms for uh, fat biking wherever it may be I mean Duluth Minnesota is a hilly town I mean it's primarily a mountain biking town and this is able to handle it all we've got three groomers in cogs right now that are grooming anywhere from the hills of the Mission Creek trails to you know the nice snowshoe hikeable trails of Hartley uh, and there really are no complaints we can go into more detail later about kind of the functionality or the modularity of how you're grooming and it's really a dynamic kind of grooming um, but it, it gets the job done no complaints So here's an example of what you can do with it. So for one, if you wanted to make your your DIY skate track, uh, this is three passes. One was just kind of clean it up, hasn't even set. So if you just take your three passes, let it set. I mean, these ridges are absolutely nothing. If you've been skate skiing, you know that's the case. Um, it's just a little bit of leftover powder and it is plenty wide for you to go skate skiing once it hardens up you're gonna be floating on that just fine and then over here is one path uh, with just the the full width of the fat bike groomer and for biking absolutely fine I mean you've even got some some ledge over it it's packing snow down to that about there and for fat biking it's great you can take plates off if you wanted it even narrower you also can just ski on this. I mean, my uncle prefers to rather ski on a non-set track for cross-country skiing. Fantastic for that. Big shout out to my brother Gabe for making this video happen. We're really looking forward to getting more content out to you guys. If you like what you're watching, hit the subscribe button and you can feel free to leave any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.